This is more about the postal history of Macedonia. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you, however, is um, the very nice um, envelope in which my item came. This is something I bought on eBay, and it came to me from, from Argentina on a very nice uh, registered cover um, with a whole lot of stamps showing national parks in Argentina. Here's the back of it with more stamps and, um, you know, a, uh, a customs uh, declaration. But, uh, and you know, it's always nice to get something like this in the mail. It's, so it stands out, you know, from all the fund appeals and bills that you get. This is, this is something that makes the mail worthwhile. Okay, here's the item. Uh, this is a piece of, uh, of Balkan War postal history. What we have here is a, um, a, it's a patriotic cachet. Um, the inscription there uh, says, uh, greetings from free Macedonia. We have a Greek soldier with the Greek flag and uh, the, the Macedonian uh, emerging from the uh, chains there on the right. And in the background, that uh, tower is a famous, famous location, the White Tower of Thessaloniki. Um, an ancient structure that's sort of a symbol of the city. And on the right here, um, this word at the top, I'm not sure exactly what that is. Um, I believe it, it means something like uh, communication or information. If you look up, if you just translate that word from Greek to English, you get the word ask. So maybe it's information or something, the Greek coat of arms, and this is the Greek army. Helenokostratos. Okay, the, the, um, the uh, letter is addressed to um, a party in, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Here's the back of the cover uh, with the receiving mark from Pittsburgh. Um, this, uh, the cancellation here, or the, the imprint is Thessaloniki, which had only recently become Greek. Now this was part of Turkey until the Balkan War, starting in October oh, yeah. 1912. And um, I, it's difficult to make out the date here. Uh, it looks to me as though it's 21 April. That would be Alpha Pi Rho, uh, words, uh, letters for, for April. I think that's what it is. And then 13 at the bottom, but the 13 is reversed. It's, it's upside down. Anyway, that would make sense as to the, to the date. Um, 21 April 1913, you notice that it's received on May 17th. And I believe the reason for the discrepancy there in the dates is that this is what they call old style dating. The, the Greek calendar was about two weeks behind the Western calendar. They were still using the Julian calendar when most other countries in the world had changed to the Gregorian. Uh, and so, and Greece, did, Greece was one of the last countries to make that change. It didn't come until the 1920s, something like 1922. They finally got around to adopting the uh, Gregorian calendar. The, the great boon that I got from this cover is it, it contained the letter. This is what was inside. Again, we have the same inscription, the same uh, cachet on the top. And it's a letter home. Um, well, well this, this man apparently had been living in the U.S. and went back to Greece. First of all, it's dated um, from a place called Voimitsa, which I believe it's a district of uh, Thessaloniki. Um, April 19th, 1913, probably again the old style dated, which would be May 2nd, 1913 in the new style. My dear friend Frank, I am well. I hope you are the same. At the time I come over to the old country to see my house folks, they took me in the army for four months and I pay 400 drachmas, fine. But after five days I get through, I was ready to come back there. They take me again into the war and I take place in six battles. We kill hell of many Turks. We suffer too many of the winter but we forget them all because we went victorious. Soon as you get my letter, I hope to hear from you. Louis Kutsas. And then on the, on the other side, uh, my regards to all your home family, especially to Bob and the old something. I cannot make out that word. 
I'm going to have to ask our friend Chris at the club if she knows what that means. And then uh, signed Louis Kutsas, uh, I believe it's first regiment of something. And again, I can't re read that. Um, the Zeta, that would be the fifth battalion, uh, Vojmitsa Salonique, Macedonia. My regards to my old friend, Mrs. Rossmeyer. Well, I think that's remarkable. I, it's very rare to find something like this, you know, really a firsthand account. And my apologies to any Turks who may be listening, by the way. Um, uh, he certainly had a, a negative attitude toward them. So that's it. That's my little bit of, um, of postal history from Macedonia.